Basic Core Mathematics, Paper 2, Question 12A. The diagram shows a circle ABCD with center E. Quadrilateral EABC is a rhombus. Angle BAE is equal to angle ECB equal to N and angle ABC is equal to M. Fine. I M I I N. I ask us to find the value of the angle marked M. The angle formed at the center of a circle is twice the angle form at the circumference of that circle. So we can state that angle AEC is equal to 2M. Also, the sum of angles at the circumference of opposite segments of a circle is 180 degrees. So we can also state that angle ADC plus M is equal to 180 degrees. By making angle ADC the subject, you have angle ADC is equal to 180 degrees minus M. Moreover, opposite angles of a rhombus are equal. So angle AEC is equal to angle ADC. We know angle AEC as 2M, which is equal to angle ADC, which is also 180 degrees minus M. Group light terms. And we have 2M plus M equal to 180 degrees, giving us 3M is equal to 180 degrees. By making M the subject, we will divide both sides by 3, giving us M is equal to 60 degrees. I, I is asking us to calculate for the value of the angle marked N. And since we have already calculated for the value of the angle marked M, and the result was 60 degrees, and angle AEC equals 2M, we will substitute M is equal to 60 degrees, giving us angle AEC equal to 120 degrees. Triangle AEC is isosceles, hence its interior angles, two of its interior angles are equal. So we have angle EEC is equal to angle ECA. We will let angle EC equal to angle EAC equal to any variable, example X. From triangle AEC, we have angle ECA plus angle EAC plus angle AEC equal to 180 degrees since the sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees now we know angle EC as X plus angle EEC also X plus angle AEC which is 120 degrees equals 180 degrees x plus x will give us 2x is equal to 180 degrees minus 120 degrees grouping light terms which will now give us 2x is equal to 60 degrees now if you want to make x the subject we divide both sides by 2 giving us x is equal to 30 degrees from triangle abc we have angle ABC plus angle BAC plus angle BCA equal to 180 degrees since the sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Angle ABC which is M 
plus angle BAC, which is M plus 30 degrees plus angle BCA, which is also M plus 30 degrees, will be equal to 180 degrees. Since M is equal to 60 degrees, we replace M by 60 degrees plus N plus 30 degrees plus M plus 30 degrees will give us 180 degrees. Now we have 2N plus 120 degrees equal to 180 degrees. Grouping light terms of 2N is equal to 180 degrees minus 120 degrees. Which will now give us 2n is equal to 60 degrees. Now, if you want to, we want to make n the subject. We divide both sides by 2, giving us n is equal to 30 degrees. The formula for finding the quadratic equation when roots are given is x squared minus sum of roots multiplying x plus product of roots equal to zero. So we need to find the sum of roots as well as the product of roots. Now the sum of roots equals 3 on 4 plus minus 4 which will give us minus 13 on 4. And the product of root equals 3 on 4 multiplying minus 4, which will give us minus 3. Now, since the formula has already been stated as x squared minus sum of root multiplying x plus product of root equal to 0, you will then insert the result of the sum of root and the product of root so we have s squared minus sum of root which is equal to minus 13 on 4 multiplying x plus product of root which is equal to minus 3 equals 0 now by getting rid of the 4 in the fraction minus 13 on 4, which says as the denominator of that fraction, we can multiply through by the 4, which will now give us 4x squared plus 13x minus 3 equals 0. And this is our quadratic equation, whose rules are 3 on 4 and minus 4.